YouTubers. I know, I know. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have been away from YouTube for about a month now, and I don't want to make up excuses, but um, I felt really uninspired and I didn't know what to make videos about, and this is my problem. Whenever I ask you guys what type of videos you want to see, all you guys are like, story time, story time. And like, I get it. I love telling stories on this channel, but it was so easy for me. There's gonna be a guy walking by. There's a guy walking by. Yeah. It was really fun for me to make story time videos a few years ago when I was fresh out of high school because I had so many crazy stories from high school. YouTube was such a great outlet for me to let out all of that angst. But now you guys are like, story time. I'm like, I don't have my life just isn't that cray right now leave in the comments what you guys want to see from me today i'm just gonna film a vlog because i literally don't know what to do and i feel really bad about leaving you guys hanging for so long -sies. so this is gonna be my vlog about going to seattle i am going to seattle tomorrow to visit my sissy and she's taking me to another rave <laughs> i feel like every time i go visit my sister in seattle we always end up raving just kidding, this is the second time. But I feel like that's gonna be our thing. <laughs> I'm going straight to Hawaii after Seattle and visit my friends Caitlin and Caitlin and their sugar daddy Jeff. And I'm really excited. Ooh, my nose. Also, I am on my fourth day of a juice cleanse and I wanna pull my eyes out. Like, actually, no, it's getting easier, but I mean, it's so hard. I'm doing this juice cleanse, number one, because last week I literally went out every night besides one night. Whenever my friends go out and they invite me, I'm like, okay. I'm 21 now, who gives a shit? So I've been drunk so much and I just felt physically ill. And so I just signed up for a juice cleanse for five days. Um. <laughs> It's torture. I'm peeing every 30 minutes. It just gets in the way of my life and it kind of scares me, especially when I'm out in public and I know that I can't access a restroom anytime soon. When you're on the cleanse, it's not one of those things where it's like, oh, I kind of have to pee. It just all comes flooding in like the ocean, literally just flooding it's my urethra. to the point where it like pulsates. I don't know if that's too much information or not. It's hard. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was because I paid so much money for this. Oh my God, that guy just saw me do that. Um, and now he's looking at me, stacking my shit over. Hey dude. Uh, what was I even talking about? Oh yeah, I'm not sponsored. And I really wish I was because I dropped so much bread. <laughs> so I'm gonna drive over to Urban Outfitters because I have to return some stuff. I posted an Instagram pic. There's so many babes, the privilege thing, I'm a freak. I got this beanie that I didn't end up wearing. <laughs> it concaves in like that and then it flips out. It just, I can't, I couldn't do it. I got my nails done today because I'm going to Hawaii and and I got a Manny and Petty. It was actually a gel Manny and Petty. I felt so bad for the ladies doing my nails because my nails were absolutely atrocious. I jammed my middle finger <laughs> in a door a few weeks ago. And so there was dark blood underneath my nail and then it grew and then that part just fell off. I was really embarrassed to show that to my nail lady because I didn't want her to barf all over my face. But she was actually really, really nice about it. And don't even get me, don't even get me started on my toes. Do not even get me started. But right now I'm gonna go return my sh Holy shit, I am greasy. And I also needed to buy a green outfit for the rave. It's like a St. Patrick's Day rave. I don't really know what that means, but hey, we're gonna find out. You guys, so if you wanna get some new merch, it says ranch dressing in Chinese, go cop some. Link in description, it's really cute. And it is springtime right now, it's getting warm, so there's t-shirts too. And I like to cut the t-shirts into crop tops. 
Okay, I'm about to, whoa. I'm about to clean my room and pack. And I found this little thing that is so freaking funny. And I don't know if I've told this story. I don't think I have, but if I have, you're gonna hear it again. When me and my friends went to Europe in Budapest, I believe. No, it was in Prague. We were, <laughs> that sounds so like, was it Budapest? No, perhaps Prague. Um, in Prague, there was this little store, two people sit down, and this camera takes pictures of you from all angles, and then they put your face in a little cube. So me and Will did it. So it takes two hours for them to make it. The guy didn't really speak English, and when we were done taking the pictures, he hands me a piece of paper and a pen. He said something. I don't even know what I, I thought that he said, write down your phone number so we can call you when it's ready, but I guess he said, write down what you want it to say on the cube because you can write something on the cube but I thought he said write down your phone number so that they can call us when it's ready so I wrote down my phone number on the piece of paper and we go to pick up our little 3d cube will thinks he looks really creepy in this and he kind of does it's the side of our face the other side but it says my freaking phone number at the bottom I'm such a dumbass I'm obviously gonna edit it out but like what the f they gave me the piece of paper so I could write something cute underneath, like the date or something. I just found it and it made me laugh, so I just wanted to share. I'm kind of tripping right now. So basically, I go to this meditation center and take classes there to get my mind right. So I was looking through the schedule. <sighs> And there is something at 7.30. It's called Live with Nick Vial. I think it's Vial. I don't freaking know. Um, if you guys don't know who that is, he was on The Bachelor. And I'm tripping right now. And it starts in 45 minutes. I love The Bachelor. All right. Wish me luck. I'm f***ing nervous. You know, you were obviously on The Bachelor, Bachelorette in Paradise. So you've been on dating shows and you've had millions. Got them all. Yeah! Okay guys, I'm with my sissy. I'm officially in Seattle. Nervous. But I wanted to tell my sister what I told y'all a few clips ago. Are you, you're not pregnant? Oh my God, no. So guess who I hung out with last night? You're never gonna guess it? Josh Peck. No. <laughs> Can I guess? Can you sure. Him? A Jonas Brother? Oh my God, what? <laughs> if I hung out, oh. Lamar Odom. <laughs> A Kardashian? No. A Jenner? No. Am I close? No. <laughs> Can you give me the genre? Football player? Colton from The Bachelor. You're warmer. <gasps> A Bachelor person? Just think of like the popular season. Juan Pablo. No. <laughs> I wish. Actually, he's such a douchebag. I don't think I can handle that. Um, Nick Vile. Are you f kidding me? Why were you with Nick Vile? That's not really the coolest thing in the world. I know, exactly. <laughs> yeah, That's kidding. exactly. Like, I knew it was cool. I he's he's like an epic Nick fan. Yeah, Wait, I thought crazy. you were. I can't stand him. I thought you loved him. Nick? Wait, what? <laughs> no. Did I love him then? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I literally thought that you were obsessed with him. Nick Vile? Because he's like cool and sarcastic and smart. No. He's cool and sarcastic and smart. That's... And like, hot. No. Yeah, dude. No. Now? Nope. It was 30 bucks for a ticket. <laughs> to listen to Nick Vile talk. It was the most boring thing <laughs> I could have told you that. my life. It was just like a bunch of women that loved The Bachelor. Oh my god. And there was like a little wine bar. <sighs> so good. And bitches were getting drunk off wine, like pre-gaming for this. At my meditation. Meditation center. The reason why he was having this talk with the meditation place is because he started this new essential oil company. But it was so boring because <laughs> he only talked about that and like his personal life, not anything about The Bachelor. And I was like, I want bachelor tea. It was two hours long. I was like, this guy is just average from Wisconsin. He's the most boring. And all the women, every time you would answer a question, they'd be like, oh! And like giggle and I was like I can't relate so everyone got goodie bags next to their chairs except for me I don't know why <laughs> and so I look under my chair and I'm like what the f 
Nick, they were at the front, and I was like, I want a goodie bag, so I have to ask her about it, but Nick's up there. All of the women were freaking out about him being there, so like, me being there, I felt like I had to too. Yeah. Because I was like, it's true, like, I love The Bachelor, and he was on that shit. <laughs> so when I was walking up to them, my heart was beating so fast, and I was like, sorry to interrupt, I don't think I got a goodie bag. And then Nick was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, and I was like, it's okay. And then they go, and they like, go get me a goodie bag. They come back. Nick was like, I'm so sorry. We don't have any more essential oils for you. And then the lady was like, but we gave you two coupons. <laughs> <laughs> for what? Two coupons. <laughs> To this like sweat house. <laughs> okay. Do you know what that is? You go to saw and your head's like out. Yeah. <laughs> You're baking in this like oh sleeping God. bag. Yeah. For 55 minutes. Oh shit. But there's a TV in Netflix. She gave me two coupons to that. She like whispered in my ear. She was like, this is way better than the essential oils. But Nick like walked away, so we didn't hear, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> Okay, bitch. So I literally went home, made an appointment, and I just sat in this sleeping bag watching Gilmore Girls. And it literally feels like you're working out. Oh, yeah. Like your heart is racing is and sweat dripping down my face. Feeling like I'm running, but I'm just laying there. Uh -huh. And I was like, what the f This is so trippy right now. <laughs> and I kept getting so thirsty and I kept like drinking. No, well, yeah, but like, it's not like a sauna. <laughs> a tight <laughs> sleeping bag. Like you're literally a caterpillar. Every time I would reach for my water bottle and I got a whiff of what I smelled like underneath, <laughs> it was like volleyball practice times 10. Like volleyball, knee pads. like knee pads after volleyball conditioning times 10 all over me. Like every time I reached for my it's bottle, horrific. I was like, thick. <gasps> And when the lady had to unstrap me at the end, I'm like, I am so sorry about the snatch. But yeah, so, so um, thanks Nick, Vile. I'm excited, I'm excited. Good.